Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well today. It's that time of year. It's time to talk about the worst kits of 2021. Getting that time, man. The new year is almost here. It's time to reflect. It's time to look back. And it's time to look at the worst kits of 2021. Now, don't get me wrong. There will be a best kits. This isn't just a negative channel. Uh, I'm going to do top five worst kits. And in the next video, so next week, I'll be doing the top 10. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Stick around for that. Uh, and let's get into it, top five worst kits. <laughs> Feels really harsh doing one of these videos. And we're starting in at number five, uh, and we have a Leicester's Away kit. Now, I am really not a fan of this kit. Uh, it looks like a tablecloth, <laughs> doesn't it? The design looks like a tablecloth. I, I think the design had nothing other than just vibes written down. There's no meaning, there's no secret tartan tablecloth meaning within Leicester you know what I mean if you're going to do a pattern which is you know make it about your city maybe I don't know it's, it's I'm not a fan uh, I don't really like the kind of the the pattern it's very very blocky and geometric uh too too much like too big of the the pattern and then also the pattern looks like a tablecloth it'd be great for having a picnic on in the park but it's not great as a football shirt so yeah top five fifth is leicester city's away shirt coming in at number four is not just one kit uh i felt harsh just picking out one kit for this so i'm just gonna go with all of the Puma template kits, the third kits this season now these have divided opinion they've been quite controversial but for me they're a big fat L. I don't like them at all. I think I do really appreciate that Puma here have kind of gone. You know what? Let's let's be different. Let's try something new. Football shirts have been so standard for so many years. Why? What can we do to change the game? I appreciate that, but the the execution just isn't there, is it? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It looks like you've walked into the mega store. There's a shirt there for fifteen quid, and you've brought it for your little nephew that's what it is like the shirt it looks cheap it looks weirdly rubbish it doesn't look like a football shirt and i know that's kind of the point they're trying to change the game but yeah it looks like looks like uh, something you'd buy in the mega store for 15 quid uh yeah it for me i always i use the analogy like it looks like the first slide of a brand's presentation so puma are like pitching something to Man City and that's the first slide you've got Man City you've got Puma you've got the little like X and stuff that's what it looks like to me uh, I was just not a fan for it um, I really really wasn't and they've done it across the board they did it with so many clubs AC, Dortmund it's Man City um, I'm just not a fan so I've kind of I've grouped them all into this one because it's the template I'm not a fan of that template at all and then third on this list uh, Calgary away Bit of a rogue one, but it's just disgusting. <laughs> so, so harsh. I like to celebrate football kits, but this is not a time for celebration. This shirt, it's just a real eyesore. The design um, is kind of this very graphic spire design going across the front, striped, going all the way down. It's just jarring. It's not very nice, and it doesn't help that the kind of badges and the sponsor have just been plonked onto the top of the shirt, not really giving it any depth or, or anything. It's just not good, and there's nothing else to say on that. So coming in at number two, for me, I'm going with Roma's third shirt. Roma left Nike last year, who had produced a good body of work with Roma. Not Nothing too amazing, but some really cool stuff. And uh, then they've gone with New Balance. And New Balance, I think, you know, not the biggest football shirt manufacturer in the game, are they? Uh, people, heads were turned, people were like, okay. And it was quite highly anticipated, the shirts for this year. Now, the home and the away... <laughs> They are good. They're nothing too bold. I think they played it safe. They were. They kind of thought to themselves, you know what, we're going to play it safe. We're going to put out a nice kit here, not get too much attention drawn to us. And um, it's clean, it's simple, and it's decent, uh, but it's not going to set the world on fire. That's fine. That's okay. And I think Roma fans quite like a simple shirt. That is fine. Then, then they released a fourth kit before the third kit I don't understand why um, and but this shirt was quite cool it had the Lepetta logo but as an all over pattern the dark blue is quite sexy and then you got little pinstripes of yellow and um, red of course uh, it's a very Roma kit it's quite cool it's quite unique it's a fourth kit great and then Roma released the third kit very late into the season I might add as well like Where's the third kit been? Like, why? <laughs> why did it take so long? Um, but yeah, they released it. And I said in the, my top five Roma video of all time, check that out if you haven't already. Um, I said, 
add the Lepetto logo to any kit and it'll be good. And I was really wrong. <laughs> I was really wrong. Uh, this kit doesn't know what it wants to be. I think it's trying to be a couple of different things and neither work. There's, there's The panels on the shoulder with the sash does not work. The colour scheme doesn't work. The yellow, the dark blue, the bit of red, that doesn't work. The kind of sash breaking around the Lepetto looks a little bit jarring. Yeah, I'm just not, not a fan of this shirt. It's a, it's a real shame. I think... Um, Luckily for Roma, uh, the home, the away, and the fourth are okay. But to be honest, if you, for me, if you just scrap the third, make the fourth the third, happy days. New Balance's first year at Roma was a success, especially that third, that that fourth, sorry, um, would have been good. So, yeah, that that's how I feel on that. It's a massive, massive shame. Um, but, you know, we'll see what Roma have to come in the coming years. Um, but, yeah, f get that third kit in the bin. <laughs> My final pick, the worst kit of 2021, number one, could be quite easily the biggest kit downgrade in history. The season before Atletico Madrid had this beautiful, simple, clean uh, home shirt. It had a lovely little blue colour. It was simple stripes. It was just elegant and sexy and nice. And then they brought out this monstrosity, like, what the fuck? <laughs> so the design itself, the stripe design, the, the layout of the stripe, so the uh, white in the middle with the red on either side, that is um, inspired by the 1974, not 74, 47 uh, <laughs> shirt where Madrid, Atletico Madrid first became Atletico Madrid. That's when they played under that name officially. That's what it was inspired by. It's about their history. Good stuff. Normally these are tick boxes for me. Um, and so that was the stripe pattern, but they made the stripes this really weird paint brush stroke effect, like someone's got a roller and gone up the top of it, and it is not good at all. I don't know why kits persist with this brush stroke pattern. It's never good. Juve last year had this kind of weird tire mark pattern. I don't know if that was the same, but that was bad. This is bad. Um, it's really, really good. Not good. I used to say good. It's really not good. I really don't like this kit. First time I saw it, I was like, oh no. And um, it's just, I don't know why they chose to do this. It's, um, it makes no sense. It makes no sense in my head. It just isn't computing in my head why they did this. It just looks terrible. That's it for the top five worst kits of 2021. That's my opinion. Let me know if there's any worst kits out there that I missed um, in this list, Bars. Um, I, there's a few I, did, I didn't add. They just kind of missed the cut for me. Uh, the Spurs third kit, the Galaxy one. Um, I think the idea of using the Galaxy on a shirt could have been really cool and they really butchered it. It's really jarring. It looks a little bit chavvy and I can say that because I was once a chav. <laughs> but yeah, no, it just doesn't look that great. And then also the Juve third kit is just awful. It kind of looks like, do you remember when you was on Microsoft Paint and you'd use the one tool to make loads of lines and that overcrossed each other and then you filled those ones in? That's what this shirt is with rubbish colour scheme and a 4x4 logo on the front. Um, but I think they're not as bad as the five I mentioned, but there's some honourable mentions for it. And that's my top five um, worst kits of 2021. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, are you offended? Are you not offended? Who else did I miss on this list? Let me know uh, in the comments below. And of course, next week is the top 10 best kits of uh, 2021. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, this one's going to be really cool. I'm about to film it a second. I've pressed stop on this one actually. Um, I'm looking forward to it and you should be too. So if you want to see that and you're not already subscribed, make sure you press subscribe. Uh, and before we go, make sure you check out our website, retrofootballkits.co.uk. We sell thousands of football shirts. These ones over my shoulder. That fucking really cool Nintendo one behind me is also on the website. So make sure you check it out. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.